Have you ever considered or heard about using virtual reality VR for product demonstrations to supersize and grow your business? Sharon Horton Elstrom here. And I actually think technology and virtual reality is amazing. And it's got so many applications. I'm going to share <clears throat> how you'd go about doing it for your business. What are some of the advantages? What we can look forward to in the future? And share a couple of case studies and examples of companies that we all know, their household names for the most part, that are doing a really good job and using virtual reality to give their customers a better experience, to enhance their products and services, to engage people before they become customers that helps them to make the decision, reduce the, the length of time to make that decision because they've actually experienced in a virtual digital way the products or services they're, they're looking at. So what the heck is virtual reality? It is a digital way of experiencing a product or service because you can actually do this with your service organizations and your coaching as well, just by being a little creative and thinking outside the box uh, in terms of how you apply these tools and strategies. Uh, we can use it to uh, give our customers an immersive experience. So maybe I'll share and sprinkle throughout the the case studies as well as uh, just sharing the information. For example, if I want to buy a new car, now I'm legally blind, so I don't get to drive anymore, but if I want to experience a new car, I can go to Audi, Audi, I always say it wrong, my son teases me. I go to Audi and I can do virtual test drives. I don't actually have to get behind the wheel and drive the car, which for someone like me is, is a lot safer than if I wanted to actually drive the car, but I can, experience what it would be like to own and drive their different models of cars digitally using virtual reality. I don't have to really get out and do it in order to experience it. Uh, and Audi is one of the companies that has done a really good job and it's on the leading edge of applying it in their business to give their customers a better experience and to give them that real as if they've actually done it experience. Uh, I know I always think of my, my nephew when I'm talking about or thinking about virtual reality or things. He is a, a pilot in the Air Force. Well, he doesn't fly anymore, but he flew for a bunch of years. Uh, and he credits his ability to become a pilot, be a great pilot, video games, and actually experiencing through simulators. And that's what virtual reality is. It's like having uh, pilot simulate, sim simulators, <laughs> pilot or flying simulators or other type of simulators are a similar idea. You get to experience it without crashing the plane and dying, right? You get to experience driving the car, which if I were driving the car, it would probably be unsafe. I am one of those few people that is actually looking forward to self-driving cars because it might give me more freedom again. Uh, it enhances engagement. If people are able to interact with the, our products and services, that increases engagement, right? Uh, it gives us remote accessibility. I don't have to actually, in some instances with different companies that are using it, Ikea, for example, I don't have to go to the Ikea store. I can go to their website and I can use some of their virtual reality ideas to check out their furniture, put it in different rooms and things. And different companies are using this in a really cool way too. Uh, I buy direct is a glasses company online where you can put a picture of your face in and you can try on the different frames and the different glasses. I think that's fantastic. It makes it so that from the comfort of our own home, we can shop for different products and services. And are we a hundred percent sure they're going to look awesome on us when we get them? Mm, no, but guess what? We're probably 90% sure they're going to look good and we're going to like them when we receive the product or service in the mail. Uh, so how do we go about if we decide, Hey, this sounds awesome. I want to figure out some ways that I could implement this for me and for my business or for us and our businesses. <clears throat> the first thing we need to do, of course, in any instance is what's your objective? Why would you want to use virtual reality? Is your objective to uh, give give customers an opportunity to try on your product or service? Uh, and Or is it to get more engagement? Whatever it is, you got to know what you want before you go after anything. Uh, then we want to choose the right platform, of course. There are different platforms for virtual reality. There's uh, the, the most popular ones are, are Oculus Rift, Oculus Quest, uh, PlayStation VR, and HTC Vibe, Vire right now. Uh, but they're, they're always popping up. Technic, 
technology 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 is changing all the time boy i definitely need more coffee this morning uh, technology is changing all the time and new players are coming on the market they all have different advantages and disadvantages technical capabilities just like anything else it's up to us to do our research and figure out what platform and what application is going to be best for our business thirdly we want to develop high quality virtual reality uh content right and items so that people actually get the results and the experience that that we're planning for them uh, and the only way you can do that is by actually creating it and then integrate or the next thing we want to do is integrate interactive elements into our virtual reality experience we want people to be able to engage with and interact with the product that they're demonstrating or the service that they're receiving or doing a virtual tour of. Uh, we want to test and optimize. We want to test and tweak and make sure that what we're creating is working and getting the results we want for people. And then finally, we want to promote our virtual reality product demos on wherever we can promote them, email, social media, uh, sharing the information about them on podcasts, our websites, of course, in our physical locations, if we have physical locations, we want people to be able to come in, sit down in a digital way, get a, a VR thing on their head and actually experience the product in our physical locations as well as online, if, if that's possible and if it makes sense for your business. So I already talked about Audi, uh, another couple of companies that are doing this really, really well. I guess I mentioned Ikea as well. I have been using uh, technology to visualize things for a really long time. I, I uh, My last home, I actually designed from the ground up and I used uh, software to create that home, furnish that home, move things around, move walls, move the way it looked on the outside, the inside, and then handed it off to an architect after I had created it on a drafting type software. I handed it off to an architect to do all the, the things that architects do to make sure it was actually included everything it needed. We had all the light switches and the electrical and the plumbing in the right places uh, to create that home. Uh, and so it's amazing how different softwares have changed and we can walk through and we can experience things as if we're actually there before we actually create them in the world. That's why I love 3D printing and things. I think that it's fun to be able to create something and see it and touch it. And even if it's just a small version of it, it is really exciting to me to see those types of technology being adopted on a broader scale. And I think virtual reality is one of those. It'll be continue to grow and expand and be adopted on a larger scale. As we get better with things like touch sensitivity, I can't remember the term for it. I think it's itopic or hip topic uh, feedback that means the ability to actually improve our senses and our sensory experience of virtual reality. Uh, I think that it will get more and more used and be more readily adopted by different industries and different companies. Uh, Lowe's also has a hollow room, they call it, where you can go and you can see in different rooms what, uh, how to design Bathrooms and kitchens, I think they primarily have right now. They might have expanded it to other rooms, but you can design your own bathroom. You can design your own kitchen using a hollow room. So you can create it all, change different cabinets, change different uh, elements in those rooms, appliances, toilets, whatever it is, and see what it would actually look like and decorate it before you would get the materials and get everything and get all the, and actually create those rooms or remodel those rooms in your house. So they're another uh, amazing case story. All that I've experienced, I've experienced all those things. Um, and then there's probably a plethora of examples out there that I haven't personally experienced because it's not something I'm looking for every day, but I do appreciate it when I stumble across it for something that I am looking for. All right, that's all I've got today. I'm curious if you're using VR or of course, we'll talk about augmented reality some more too. But uh, in your business, share in the comments below your stories or if you've gone to a place that uses it that you found really, really helpful and got excited about, share those stories in the comments below as well. Have an awesome day and I'll of course be with you tomorrow. Holiday week, 4th of July. Bye.